hello everyone I am I am back and I hope everyone is doing well I hope you are preparing for your <clears throat> Thanksgiving Day I think Thanksgiving Day in the US is tomorrow but getting back to the news we have Gilbert Burns scheduled to face Neil Magny at UFC 283 in Brazil and let's see and all my news all my articles is coming from bjpen.com I use him a lot or his site a lot along with MMA junkie but let's see here and Magni said about Gilbert Burns he is one of the toughest or in my opinion the best grappler in the division right now I feel like I did a lot growing in that fight against Shavkat and I feel like challenging myself against a good grappler like Gilbert Burns just going out there and showing what I could do let's see and Burns responded congrats no Magni last time I heard you UFC said I have an opponent for Brazil if he doesn't show up we can dance I'm in 100% to make this fight happen. For now, great finish and congrats on your record. And as far as Neil Magny's record, he is 27 and 9. And he returned with the win earlier in November as he submitted Daniel Rodriguez in the third round. Let's see. Gilbert Burns' record is 20 and 5, coming off a decision loss against Kamzat Chemaev. Let's see. The next story I have. Let's see. Apparently, Curtis Blades is looking forward to a bout with John Jones at UFC 285. And this is coming from MMA Junkie. Let's see. And Curtis Blades said on his Instagram, not sure how le legit this is, but if this fight happens, I'll be ready for five rounds of war. And automatically, my prediction is to have John Jones win and hopefully face Francis Nunganu. Well, with Francis, hopefully his situation works out. I don't know if he's going to stay in the UFC uh, for too long or is he going to take up the boxing. Or if he does have the boxing bout with Tyson Fury, I don't know if he, what he's going to do in general. But regardless of what platform John Jones and Francis fight on, I do want to see that fight happen one day. So let's see and it, it's going to be something because John hasn't fought in a while I think his last fight was in February 2020 um, against Dominic Reyes I think it was by decision but after that he vacated his heavyweight title um, and now he's preparing for a heavyweight bout let's see the next article I have Kane Velasquez so the judge has allowed him to take up a wrestling bout let's see in Mexico I think and he was officially released on November 8th yep with his attempted murder charge it's very heavy. Let me see. So Lucha Libre Triple A Worldwide profess Professional Wrestling event on December 3rd. Oh. So let me take this back. It's Tempe, Arizona. So it's going to be in Tempe, Arizona. Let me see. Well, that's good news for him. He's getting some money off of his bail. His bail was set at one million. 
authority. And he can even take off this tracking device. But regardless, I'm, I'm happy for him. He's able to get some gigs after this heavy charge. And then for my last article, we have Brendan Scup. His thoughts on Alex Pereira and Kamzat Chemaev. He's hoping they could fight one day. Let's see. And this is coming from the Scub, Brendan Scub podcast. Let me see. Do I have a good quote? So you have one more chance. You are not. You are next. If not, come judge my get his way. Let's see. I don't think that the UFC would do that though. Or the UFC might. If they call Izzy and they are like, when are you ready to do this thing? Izzy is like, I'm having surgery. I'll be out of this. The UFC ain't waiting. And that's true. The UFC wants to make that money. Got to keep, keep the bouts going while people are still talking. Let me see. And then he goes on to say, it would ruin the rematch. But could still do Izzy versus Pierre fight no matter what. Even if Pierre has the belt or not. But yeah, Kamjot would be a handful for Pierre. Hopefully they do it. Hmm. Yeah, that... that. And to be real, if Kamjot... Uh, or comes out versus pair were to take place. I have comes out all day. I don't have pair on that belt. But if that were to happen, I would still love to see Izzy take on Pierre, regardless if he has the belt or not as well. So that wraps it up. Uh, we talked about Gilbert Burns versus Neil Magny. Curtis Blades and his thoughts on a potential bout against John Jones and Cain Velasquez taking up a wrestling bout the Lucha Libre Triple A Worldwide Professional Wrestling event and then we have Brendan Scup on his thoughts on Kamjat Jamayev versus Pear pretty loaded video but I'll break this up into, into different videos and post it on my other channel. I just have this, the video that has all, the, all this for the main channel. I even post some, I, I'll post some on Facebook as well. But in general, if you like the video, like, subscribe, follow, the channels, MMA news outlet. I'm glad to be posting again. Um, different format, and I'm happy with it. It's more laid back. It's more authentic. Other than that, like I said in the beginning, I hope everyone has a good Thanksgiving tomorrow, um, at least in the U.S. And I don't know what else what other holiday they serve or or um, have in other countries or but regardless happy thanksgiving and i hope everyone has a happy holiday and and christmas is right around the corner time definitely flies but again thank you for having me and look forward to more news mma news outlet Thank you.